If you're a parent, teacher, or school leader, and you're sick and tired of the frustration, anger, and unfair treatment of children at high risk in our public schools, then perhaps it's time for all of us to do something about it. In this podcast, Dr. Amitra Berry brings you tips, tools, strategies, and tactics to build successful solutions while touching, moving, and inspiring all of us to transform our schools so that every child thrives. Here's your host, Dr. Berry. If someone says to you, happy holidays or season's greetings, please don't be offended. It may not be a diss. For me, it's a show of respect and honor of your beliefs that might be different from my own. Welcome back, Equity Wars. Thanks for tuning in today. Just a brief message focused on the intersection of education and politics here on the 3E podcast. And today, my focus is on December in our classrooms. But before I get to that, I hope you voted. I did twice general election and a runoff. So I'm going to ask you to make it a New Year's resolution to attend at least one school board meeting in 2024. Set a goal, then achieve it. All right, season's greetings and happy holidays. I remember my classrooms in December as a child growing up in America, there were always Christmas trees at school. We made decorations to take home and hang on our own trees and We even made snowmen out of tumbleweeds one year. While my own children were in elementary school, there were still some of those decorations, but over time, not as many. I know in my own classroom, I wanted to honor and respect the cultures of not just my students who were Christian, but those who were Buddhist, Hindu, Muslim, Jewish, and yes, even those of no faith, whether they felt comfortable expressing that or not. And while in teaching high school, I didn't really adjust my classroom decor much. When I taught elementary, I made sure that the season's bulletin board, my door decor, heck, even the curtains that I would sew to dress up my classroom for each season over the course of the year, that in December, those curtains, that decor was a recognition of December around the world and across cultures. My sixth grade social studies framework was a study of the ancient worlds, and that included covering the origins and the major tenets of five of the world's major religions, Christianity, Islam, Hinduism, Buddhism, and Judaism. So we understood because I taught, we studied in December in order of where they fall on the calendar. First, Malid, the day in which the Islamic prophet Muhammad is said to have been born. We learned about Ruatsu, or Bodhi Day, the day in which Buddha is said to have achieved enlightenment. We learned about Hanukkah, the Jewish festival of lights that memorializes a battle between a small group of Jewish people and the Greek Syrian army, and not one, but four Hindu holidays, uh, Gita Jayanti being the primary one that we studied, and that commemorates the day in which the Lord Krishna revealed the Bhagavad Gita to Arjuna on the battlefield of Kurukshetra. And of course, in America, Christmas, the Christian holiday commemorating the birth of Jesus Christ. Now, all of that fit quite nicely with my social studies frameworks. And so we compared and contrasted origins, similarities, differences, traditions, and discussed why so many major religious holidays fell in the month of December. Now, I was fortunate. I know that. I taught in California. My assigned content allowed me the opportunity, actually, there was a bit of a mandate, to educate and inform my learners. And I did so in a way that I hope has carried through to their thinking to this day, that December is a special month, no matter who you are or what you believe in. Of course, to honor the history and culture of my Black students, as well as my own, And as you know, culture is a big part of my writing and instruction on classroom environment. We studied the origins of Kwanzaa, which incidentally was created by a Californian. Another link for my students to connect to, Dr. Maulana Karinga, who is a professor of Africana Studies. December is a special month. It's a special season. It's a time to come together to respect, value, and affirm the cultures, heritages, beliefs, and traditions, which through study, through 
cognitive humility through open-mindedness, we might find that we have more in common with one another than we think we do, more in common than what we think sets us apart. But I know our world has changed and educators now face retribution, loss of their professional license, even jail time in some places. Should they even utter the names, the dates, the topics, the holidays I just told you about that I was honored or rather privileged to have taught. So this season, please take a moment to reflect on what's at stake for our children in terms of educating them to grow up, to live, to work, to thrive in a global economy, in a world of diversity of thought, diversity of culture, of heritage, and yes, beliefs. And I'll be back with you on January 8th, 2024. So join me then. And until then, don't worry about the things you cannot change. Change the things you can no longer accept. Happy holidays. That's it for today's episode of the 3E Podcast. Head over to iTunes and subscribe to the show. One lucky listener every single week that posts a review on iTunes will win a chance in a grand prize drawing to win a $25,000 value private VIP day with Dr. Barry herself. Be sure to head over to 3epodcast.com and pick up a free copy of Dr. Barry's gift. Then join us on the next episode.